Hey everybody and welcome. As you might notice uh, from what you're seeing on the screen in this video, we're not actually going to be talking about Max, but instead we're going to talk a little bit about Unreal Engine and how we can get Unreal Engine and get started with using Unreal Engine. So the first thing that we want to do is we're going to go over to epicgames.com. Now, once you're here, you, you should uh, see something similar like this. At the moment, it looks like this, but this page changes from time to time. So what you want to do here when you come over uh, at Epic Games is you go over to this portion over here and you can get either Unreal Engine or you have some other games that are made with Unreal. But for this case, we need Unreal Engine. We click on it and we get this. Basically, it's a bunch of information that's telling us what we can do with Unreal Engine and what we can find about it. We, here we have the documentation, tutorials, uh, you have the community. So basically anything that you might need or want for this or want to learn about Unreal, you can get it here. Now, in order to use Unreal, what you need to do is go over to the download button, click on it, and this will download the Epic Games Launcher. Once you have that downloaded, then you can uh, close uh, this uh, screen and open the launcher. Once you download the Unreal Launcher or the Epic Games Launcher, it's going to ask you for your uh, account name in case you don't have one, go ahead and create one and log in. Everything is free, so you shouldn't have any issues with this. Now, as soon as you start up the Epic Games Launcher and you're logged in, you're going to see your name over here. And this is what you're going to be greeted with. Again, this is the startup page for the launcher. And here on the side, you have pretty much the sim uh, same to similar... Uh, tabs as we had on the previous page. So we have the community, we have the learn where you can find a lot of uh, tutorials, you can find the com uh, documentation, the wiki and all of it. You have the marketplace here, which is a great place where you can find many different assets. Some are paid, some can be free and it's a great great place to find a lot of stuff that you might need and below it you have your library in which uh, it will contain all the projects you feel that you've worked on but before i dive in any uh, deeper i want to show you a few other things that we have on the top over here so what you can do is you can go over to fortnite if you if you're a gamer and you want to try out the game uh which is uh, fortnite you can sign up for the alpha if you get uh, chosen, you get to play. Then you have Unreal Tur Tournament. Now, this is the new Unreal Tournament. So it's a very, very fun game to play. Again, if you're a gamer, you want to try it out, you can install it and play it free of charge. But what is very important here is uh, this portion over here. Now, if you come over here, you have this play button, which is fine if you want to play the game, but below it, you have the create button. This is basically the Unreal Tournament Editor. So what this does, it, it's going to allow you to get basically the source code for the game. You're going to download the game, but you're actually going to be able to take a look at each individual asset and how that asset was built, and then you can use it for anything that you might want. So a very, very nifty thing to have. I've seen that a lot of people that are using Unreal basically skip around this either because they didn't know or simply they don't play games so they think it's useless. But in reality, you can find a lot of things here that can show you how it works, be it assets, animation, or pretty much blueprints or anything. Then you have a few more other games here. You have modding uh, for uh, the Ark, you have Paragon, you have Shadow Complex. So pretty much you have a bunch of stuff that you can use. Now, we're gonna go back to library. 
So what library does is basically going to show you what engine versions you have at the moment. Uh, for me, at the moment, I'm, I have a 4.15 version installed. If you're watching this as I'm releasing it, you're probably going to have the same version. But in case uh, you're watching this further along, it's probably going to be a different version. And the thing is, uh, you can actually go back in versions. For example, if I have a 4.15 version at the moment, if I need to work on a previous version of Unreal, what I can do is click on Add Versions button, and from here I can choose whatever version I might need for a particular game or anything that I might be playing. So I can choose what uh, version I want and then click on the install button as you can see i even have the 4.16 version which is a preview so it's still not the final version if i want to install that one but for now i'm going to remove this and that's for the engine version on the side you can see how big it is it roughly takes about 15 gigs it's probably going to get to be a lot bigger in the future but for now it's about 15 gigs now below it you have my projects here you can see different projects that you uh, might have uh, started working on or pretty much doing whatever and below it you can find the vault in the vault you you can uh, basically have a bunch of different stuff that you've uh, gotten from the marketplace so anything that you purchase or acquire from the marketplace it's automatically going to be placed in the library so with this you basically now have unreal engine installed and with everything installed the next logical step would be to create our first project and see how unreal engine actually looks like when we're inside the actual engine but for that, I would rather make it into a separate video because I would like to basically split it up so it's easier to follow along. So I hope you guys had fun and you learned something new. If you don't have any questions, leave them below. I will meet you in the comment section of the video. And if you enjoyed the video, then please continue on with the second one in which we are going to continue going deeper in details about how unreal engine works so as always thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video